welcome to the MBS show, episode number 227. I'm your host, Norman Sancho. Joining me today is Erica Cat. Oh, hi, the new. How's it going? Ah, fine. How are you doing, Mama Wolf? <laughs> Mama Wolf. Not Mama Wolf. I am the Lurker Cat. Getting me confused with someone else. Nah, you're the Mama Wolf for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the internet does not know. Yes. The internet does not know. So how are you doing, by the way? I am alright. How are you? I am good. I am good. It's one of those things where I notice that every time we start recording, I have this throat itch that kind of bothers me. Maybe you should start eating manuka honey, that'll start to eat. Probably, but here's the thing. It got so bad one day when, I think it was last week, it got so bad that my dad came out and said like, oh, you should eat cough medicine. And I said, nah, it's just, this is just normal for me, recording. So, yeah. It's like, see, even your dad knows there's something up, so it's like, yo, 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 get this, dunya. Done. Besides that, besides that, I'm doing fine. Like, this throat thingy, it's, it's going to pass after a few minutes. Oh, you're so open. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, I don't know what to say. Like, there's nothing new. that We don't have any guests. And honestly, on my end, the only fun thing that I've done is bought a new game. Ah, what game did you buy? Um, It's for the PS4. It's called The King of Fighters 14. So, yeah, another fighting game for me. I do love the fighting games. And this one has been whew, a while waiting. And, yeah, it's pretty good. Like... It went from 2D to 3D. So yeah, it's good. It's fun. I say, if you have the extra cash, go buy it. See, that's good. Your week was way more interesting than mine. It's like, what did you do, Lurker Cat? I binge watched on Netflix. I finished watching Being Human. I ended up watching Wolf Children. I watched a little bit of Fruit Basket. I started Elfin Lead, I think it is called. I looked up my Scottish history and learned that Everything I know is a lie, and <laughs> kind of like was in the fetal position for the good old week, and now I'm here. Well, at least you had an adventure. I was just at home playing the video games. Uh, I was still at home. I <laughs> didn't go anywhere. The power of the internet. Hurrah! At least you had more than one entertainment. Like, um, Wolf Surrens looks like a fun... Is it a movie or series? Oh. It's a movie. You should totally watch it. Yeah. Amy gave it to me as a lend, and she's like, you will like this. It's like, you, this will wreck you. You will cry. And cry, I did. Cried at it the entire time. It was just so, if it was not nice, or oh, tears. It was, oh god, no tears. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a fun movie I should really watch. Yeah, you might cry less, but you know, you'll enjoy it. You should enjoy it. I have it. feelings too. And talking about recommendations for watching movies, uh, I have one for you guys at home, and especially you, uh, Lurk. It's, the, the movie's called The Boy and the Beast. Oh? Yep, it's a kind of a really heartwarming, touching movie. It's really fun. It's from the same guy that presented to you Summer Wars. So if you like Summer Wars, you'll enjoy The Boy and the Beast. And if you don't know what Summer War is, probably you would like the first Digimon movie. Oh, okay, now I know where you're at. It's like, I didn't know what that movie was, but I remember Digimon. The first I remember movie, Digimon. you remember the one where the virus was the Digimon. Eating... Yes, yeah. yes, I remember. Uh, now I'm back in the fetal position. Oh god! Honestly, the English dub of the Digimon was not good. Like, better no. watch the Japanese one. That was good. Although Wolf Children dub was not too bad, actually, for an English. No, dub. no, no. See, um, that was a movie proper. Digimon was, uh, for kids. Oh gosh! But anyway, let's talk about another cartoon story, shall we? Yeah, like, oh, I don't know, My Little Pony. Ah, oh, today's episode was fun. Like, really, really fun. I should roll D20, see how much is, how much fun is it. <laughs> I need a D20. Oh, you don't have one? No, because I've never played uh, Dungeons & Dragons, so therefore I've never had to go and get a uh, die like that. Well, you should just try and get it, like, just for the just get, nerd just tread. To be, I'm a nerd. Yeah. I'm like, look, look, I'm cool. I've got glasses and a hearing aid and everything. Yeah, <laughs> nerd points! Just, honestly, um, I had a bag of D20s, like, let's see. <gasps> Send me some. Share me your nerd points! The problem with those D20s are their Magic the Gathering D20s, which is a spin oh. die, uh, sorry, which is a spin down die, so it's not a proper D20. <laughs> Aww. But still, um, D20 nonetheless. 
I'll get my own D20 and then I'll just be a super villain where I just decide everything I do by rolling a die. It's like a way more complex two-face. Instead of flipping a coin, I'm rolling a die. And then it's like, oh, I've rolled a 19. Now I'm going to take your spleen. <laughs> what? See? I'd be a fun super villain. <laughs> oh, wow. But anywho, uh, let, let's go to something more cheery and positive, shall we? <laughs> like my little pony. Yeah. So apparently we have someone asking for a birthday wish. And uh, Lurka, you know anything about it? Actually, it is Maddie Pagel's sixth birthday on the 4th of September. And what she's asking for is cards or postcards or little notes of encouragement to be sent to her. Her birthday party is My Little Pony theme, so naturally we noticed this and thought, yeah, happy birthday, Maddie. Yeah, happy birthday, also, Maddie. Also, a GoFundMe page for her medical bills because unfortunately she's suffering from a rare form of brain cancer. Uh, that's not fun. I had relatives who had brain cancer. I had relatives who had cancer, and yeah, let's just say that whole process was not fun. No, it's hard. But to make her sixth birthday a special day, she's asking for cards and postcards, or you know, just little notes of encouragement, which I think is lovely. It's not asking for much. Yeah, and well, honestly, from the MBS show. Uh, for me personally, Norman Sanzo, I wish you a happy birthday, Maddie. Um, I hope that you have a great day. I hope you have great cake because the great Pinkie Pie would love to make a party out of your birthday. Oh yeah, she'd make the best flipping birthday for yep, you. Yep, yep. Also, a little shout out from Scotland and the Highland Bronies here. Happy birthday, Maddie. Hope you have an awesome one. Yep, yep. So if you are interested in sending the letter or postcard to Maddie. Address will be in the show notes so you can check it out if you are interested. I do hope that, well, some of you crazy bronies out there who are really insane and nice send her a present because hey, that will make her day. Send her cake. Cake! I think cake will spoil during the transport. I I think a good Uh. one would be presents like ponies. Oh yeah. Pony figurines. Yeah, that will be, be that, awesome. that will work. And on to other news. Let's go to Russia, shall we? Ooh, Russia. Yes. In Russia, Celestia owns your car. <laughs> Gosh, dang. Yeah. Apparently, there's a brony in Russia that, well, painted up his car with the Celestia art. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, wow, that looks nasty, actually. Yep. Seeing it for the first time. Ooh. Yep, yep. And I'm not 100% sure if this is... Um, painted or stickered because there's a whole trend in Japan. Well, it started out in Japan and it um expand to other places. But uh, it's called Itasha, where the person or where an artist would spray paint or sticker your car with anime art. Technically, this is not something new, but in terms of the pony fandom. Uh, not really new too, because I did remember one person with a Porsche having a Fluttershy sticker, was it? I don't really remember. Or Applejack. Interesting. So having your car stickered is, wow, that's got to be really expensive. This is really nice though. Yep. Honestly, that Celestia art is really awesome. Really, really awesome. How much I can say about it. It's like, dang, I wish I had them skills. Yep. Well, would you do your car like this? No. I would not do my Stannis Baratheon like that. I would probably end up being Game of Thrones themed rather than Celestia or Luna themed. But would you do it? Like, uh, if you had the chance to do anything besides, well, anything, like, what art would you do? Uh, I don't think I would just get a picture on the side of my car. I think it would have to be, like, patterned or something if I was going to do anything with my car. But I, I'm just plain Jane. I just like my black car and just leave it black. Mm, all right. Technically, doing this kind of thing with a black car is kind of hard because the art won't pop yeah. out. No, unless you inverted the colors and you did something else. Uh, yeah, it won't work. Honestly, for me, I have an orange car. It's a local made car. It's called the Produa Myvi. And yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of... One of the more popular local made cars. Technically it's a Toyota Picanto, something like that. But still it's, it's nice. And honestly, I would think I would put art of Sunset Shimmer on it. So, yay. Well, that would work because you've got orange, whereas I've just got a little black Fiesta with three doors. 
so there's not really much I can put on my car. Oh, huh, three doors. That's cool. Yes. Still, I would love to do something like this. But uh, this is one of those weeks where we don't have nothing to do, nothing to talk about. So it's a yeah, really short nothing. show. So we'll true. just have to end the episode there. Yeah, have a great guys. True, so I'll true. see you next week. Yeah. But you know what? There's another topic that I like to do. <laughs> you know what? Oh, the... is there? <laughs> you know what topic is that? Is Lurker Cat? No, I wouldn't have an idea what that topic is. I think we should just end the show there. No, I yeah. think it's email time. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to get your email right on the show, you can send them at the MBS show at gmail.com. Uh, we'll read it on the show. Something similar like this. Dear Norman Sanzo and Lurker Cat and the guy who never talks, I like how you upgraded the show a little bit. The audio sounds much more transparent. Parent, uh, than he was before. You should keep it that way. Did you get a new microphone or audio recording software, Norman? Honestly, nah, this is just the same uh, old tech that I have, uh, except that I just place my microphone closer to my mouth when I talk. So, yeah. <laughs> so, no new tech. And he has a question and request. <laughs> Uh, oh, I wonder what that would be. Well, um, let's see. What do you all do for a living? And do you enjoy it? It's like me, I traumatize people in a factory. Actually, I'm a packer of biscuits at Walker Shortbread, where I send biscuits across the world for you all to enjoy ah. and traumatize people that work therein. So I have fun because I have a captive audience. <laughs> what do you do, Norman? <laughs> uh... Besides doing this every week, um, let's see. Well, I am a freelance photographer. I go out to the open and take pictures of wild Pokemon. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh, that job's way more fun than tormenting young people from school. <laughs> no. Although I do enjoy their pain and their fear. It sustains me. It makes me look useful. I like it. Uh, but honestly, I'm a freelance photographer. And I take event photos, wedding photos, and sometimes I just go out and take photos in general. Hence, you've got the Instagram. Yeah, kind of. And I take a lot of pictures of food with the Instagram. I like pictures yes. of food on Instagram. <laughs> you and your pictures of food, they torment me so. More than I torment people. <laughs> uh, Achievement there. Still, I don't mean to. Uh, here's a second yes. question. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, yes, again. Has Lurker Cat's cat ever coughed up a hairball before? Yes. Oh, really, you know? Yes. Hmm. It's disgusting. <laughs> Ew. I think that's a regional place because I have cats too and I don't see them cough up hairball, hairballs. Yeah, but I try and brush her and stuff like that. But then I molt, she molts, she grooms herself, she must get some of my hair, and then she coughs up hair. It's a mixture. It's not pretty, CRC. You do not know what you ask. Yeah. Uh, okay, he has another one. Can the guy who never talks say something on the show? I'm saying something. <laughs> nah. Why, uh, Joe? <laughs> unfortunately, Will can't join us for this week because work. Yeah. He has work that has, well, let's just say it takes up his time and sometimes he's on, sometimes he's not. We don't complain because sometimes life gets in the way. Yeah. And another one. Can I come to the fungeon too? You don't want to go to the Fungeon CRC. Run while you can! <laughs> uh, I don't know what the Fungeon is. Like, the Fungeon is something exclusive, I think. You don't know what the Fungeon is. You created the Fungeon. You put people in the Fungeon, Norman. Yeah. Why won't you let us leave? Because it's fun. Fun. Ah, I miss sunlight. And I live in Scotland. That's saying something. <laughs> uh, sunlight's overrated. But I need it. No, you don't. <laughs> Need that sweet, sweet vitamin D. <laughs> Remember the last time you get sun, you got burned. I can't help you just yeah. <laughs> like a moth to the flame, literally. Uh, so well, um, here's something. Mm -hmm. This is the request part, and uh, oh. oh no, <laughs> uh, CRC, you got no idea how uncomfortable this is making us. You don't know what you ask, CRC. Why would you inflict this on the world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll give a second. See, you can't even bring yourself to saying it, Norman. This is why we should back out now. No, no, It's not no. too late to derail. Nope, nope, never. Okay. It's not too late. Nope. It's not too late. 
<laughs> so anyway, um, he asks or he requests since Norman is in Malaysia and Lurka and Will are from other parts of the world. I request that each of you sing your country's national anthem. I would love to hear them. I love music. You don't know what you ask, CRC. Uh, honestly, I think that you should go first. I, I, and I think you have a bit I, of... I a... think since it's your show, Norman, you should lead the way by example. So you should sing first. <laughs> wow, I hate singing in my local language. This is not. This is so uncomfortable. It's for CRC. As you kept telling me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's true. Ah, uh, okay, let's try, let's try. This is so uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Alright. Now you know how I feel! <laughs> okay, I have to set an example. Alright, three, two, one. Negaraku, tanah tumpahnya daraku, rakyat hidup, bersatu dan maju. Rahmat bagia Tuhan kurniakan Raja kita selamat bertakta Rahmat bagia Tuhan kurniakan Raja kita Selamat bertakta. Did not enjoy hey. that. Uh, did not well done, Norman. That. Uh, did not enjoy that. <laughs> no, I I know. I'm dreading this bit now. So you, you yours have a bit of explanation, right? <laughs> well, actually, when I went to look up my country's national anthem, I, mean, I know we like singing our songs, but... It turns out that Scotland doesn't officially have a national anthem. We did have one... That we used to sing, but I've never heard it sung personally because this was like centuries later. It used to be Scots Wahi, and that was actually ri- the lyrics were written by Robert Burns, who's our like poet that we just love. We have a holiday, you know. He's just the bee's knees to us. But now, what's sung an awful lot in sports or parties, wedding parties, and stuff like that is Flower of Scotland, so a lot of us have just decided to assume that that's our national anthem, so we will sing it whenever. But we only sing two verses from it, so I will just sing two verses from it. (laughs) You're not getting to hear the whole thing because you're not going to get your ears hurt. So here I go. Here I go, shaming my country and myself. I hate this. CRC, you better appreciate this. Oh, Flower of Scotland... When will we see your like again? Let fall the night for your wee bit hill and glen and stood against him. Proud Edward's army and sent him homeward to think again. Those days are past now, and in the past they must remain. But we can still rise now, and be the nation again that stood against him. Proud Edward's army, and sent him homeward, to think again. There. Never again. Never, ever, ever singing in public again. That was good, by the way. No, no, it's not. Oh, it's horrible. No. Uh, no. I, I understand. I, I'm in the same boat, too. <laughs> if you want an actual proper version sung, YouTube it. Flower of Scotland by The Chorus. That was who originally wrote it. Oh, really? Yeah. The Chorus? In 196... I think it's The Chorus. Yeah. Oh. It, uh, what's the person that composed it? What's his name? Yeah. Oh no, the Corries. Oh. The Corries wrote it, and it's by Roy Williamson. Oh, it. Honestly, I have to say, like Scotland, with how their theme song goes, it's hmm, it's all over the place. Oh yeah, there's there's way more verses, and the second verse is sung again, and then the first verse is sung again. But you're not getting that from me. You're just getting the first verse and the third verse because that's normally what's sung at the rugby. So that's all you're getting uh, from me. It sounds like what um. A sports team. I remember someone singing Que Sera Sera. 
But a lot of times at weddings and stuff, you'll hear things like Scotland the Brave getting played. But I've never heard the lyrics because most of the time these songs are played, it's usually with the pipes and the drums. I've not really heard them sung too much. I mean, some people, well, a lot of people know Fly Out of Scotland, but you'll hear other things being played, but it's just pipes and drums. And that's how I like them, pipes and drums. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, do you mind taking this one? I, I will when it appears. Right. So, da, 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 so no fun. Da, 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 da. I love music. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy that episode that comes out tomorrow, or maybe today by the time you're recording. Or last week. <laughs> or seven years ago. But anyway... It is my dream come true episode since 2013. I love the Canterlot wedding and the Crystal Empire so much that I wish that Hasbro would make an episode where they would put two and two together. And now they have. The only bad part is that I got so excited during one of my hype moments that I said to my mum that I'd clean the whole house for the live stream. And I always keep my word. Maybe it will do her and the house some good. She is so busy and the house needs a little bit of TLC with a couple of messes. And I get to see a clean house again. By the way, mum would like me to tell you that she will send you guys an awesome email soon. It's like, sweet, we look forward to this email. Yep, yep. And she's happy to listen to the show with me and spend time with me, which is awesome. We're glad that you enjoy spending time with yourself while listening to us going bra 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 and butcher <laughs> our national anthems. Uh, yes, CRC, you got no idea what you unleash. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, we're, we're proud that we that, that happens. It's like... I thank you for all the times your show has able to make mum and son for me and her. You didn't have to read all those emails that I sent you on the show. Hope you get 20% cooler each episode. Big Pony Hugs and Bro Who's from Canada, CRC Brony. P.S. How fun is the fun dungeon? And I will tell you now, the fun dungeon is is only fun in name. You would don't <laughs> want to go there. You need to escape. Run while you can. Send help, CRC. Uh... Don't leave us here. <laughs> well, I'm um, going back to the top. Uh, we're glad that uh, Changing in the Crystal Empire is pretty fun. It was a fun episode for me too. Can't wait to talk about it in depth. And, well, helping mom with the house is cool. I should do that too. Unfortunately yes, for... Norman. <laughs> yeah, you too. Hey, I have my own house. I can clean my own. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should drive to your mom's place and clean her house. I should, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, quiet you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, what have you done, CRC? You unleashed this now. So many things unleashed. <laughs> and well, we're glad to make mum and uh, mum and son moment for you guys. Never thought we would do it, but hey, if you're enjoying it, that's cool. Yeah, we're honored to entertain. And twenty percent cooler for each episode. Eh? I don't know. <laughs> I would take one percent cooler for myself, but I don't even know if I get that. But if I can get that from even if it's this show or somewhere else, I will take it. I will take it. Both yeah. hands. Uh, honestly, I got no idea. We just do this because it's fun. <laughs> Someone give us a coolage percentage. We need them in the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably we'll just comment it ourselves saying, Yay, you're cool. Woohoo. I will. I'll give myself a percentage. It's like, Steph, you're 65% cooler. I'm like, yeah, I am. Well, there was emails. The fungeon. Yeah, the, the fungeon is there too. It exists. Not sure how to I have nothing to say on that, man. I've said all I need to say on the fungeon. I will just continue to stay in the fetal position. <laughs> yeah, I, I give you gruel to eat, so that's good. Yeah, I'll take it. Good food. <laughs> you give me pictures, and then you give me gruel. That's what you do. You torture me. You show me pictures of steak and these cool omelette rice things, and then and then I get gruel. Yeah, that's what you do. Oh, okay, the fungeon's not that fun if you'd say it that way, but honestly, nah. Fungeon's yeah, it's fun. fun for you, but it's not fun for people that live there. <laughs> Where are our windows? You promised us sunlight. Well, remember the last time I gave you sunlight? You you burned. But I need it! I need that vitamin D. <laughs> I'll supplement it into your food. In the gruel. <laughs> that doesn't get any other change other than it's gruel and an occasional picture going, imagine it's steak. <laughs> Imagine it's a cheeseburger that's been deep fried. Imagine a deep fried Mars bar. Imagine haggis. It's like home. No, it's not, Norman. It's not. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, concerns, or suggestions for this show, you can contact us at nbshowgmail.com. Uh, I think there's a lot of concerns coming from the fungeon. <laughs> 
So many complaints. None will be heard. No changes will be made. Probably the food. I'll be nice. Maybe I'll give you some shortbread. Shortbread. <laughs> Do I have salt to go with that as well? <laughs> Probably not. You mean person! <laughs> anyway, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. Uh, and you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. Uh, usually it's food. And Herc, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me in my usual haunts, which is lurkercat.dvnart.com, or you can find me in the Highland Brodies Facebook group, lurking about somewhere, occasionally posting stuff, very occasionally. But I, I do, I do, I'm technically there, so, you know, give us a look, give us a comment, that'd be awesome. Yay! And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Also, please subscribe to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. On this show, you get to see the different side of Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart songs. Ever want to see Silver Quill talk about video games? Well, you can catch it there. Ever want to see Sapphire Heart song go insane because of how crazy Silver Quill can be? Listen on to that show. Please do give us a subscribe because we need it. Yay. So I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Lurker Cat. And we'll guys catch you for another amazing episode of the MBS show. Probably with less or more music. I got no idea. See ya. Bye. <laughs>